one thing that people always think about when they are planning to come to the UK to work as a nurse is whether to work in the NHS or to work in the private organizations like the care homes and the private hospitals. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the NHS versus the private hospitals. In my previous video, I talked about the care homes and the hospital, but this time around, I want to talk about working in a private hospital or working in the NHS, which one is actually better, okay? So let's go. Hi, Linda Eze here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Linda Eze. I'm a registered nurse and I work in the UK. In this channel, I share information about nursing abroad, health and lifestyle. I also share other information about getting jobs abroad. So if this is your first time of coming to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that anytime I post a new video, you will be notified. A lot of our people really watch my videos without really subscribing. So please, if you're one of them, please subscribe and share with someone that needs the information I share on my channel okay so let's go the first one is the salary I know a lot of people the salary is the main motivational factor when it comes to working in NHS or working in a care home okay so the salary obviously working in a private hospital in the UK will make you more money okay it will make you more money and how much do people that work in NHS actually earn so in the NHS you will discover that most nurses earn between 11 to 13 pounds per hour while in the private hospital it might range between 15 to 17 even 18 and it actually depends because in the private hospital their own salary is depends on the private hospital themselves it depends on negotiation with the employers when you are getting a job it's not limited like the nhs that has like a minimum and the uh, the same um, salary range okay so in the private hospital it's going to depend on you your negotiation your experience and everything and that particular employer as well while in the nhs they have a pay a pay scale okay so everybody falls within that pay scale okay so this salary wise the private hospitals they pay more okay how about the work hours so for the work hours as well in the nhs the work hour is usually 37.5 hours per week while in the private hospital it's also going to depend on the employer so sometimes it may be up to 40 or 42 or the same 37.5 hours so it's going to depend on that particular private hospital okay. while in the nhs as well you can take up extra shifts the same goes with the private organization you can also take extra shifts if they are short of staff they are willing to share that extra sheet with their employee with their with their staff or make provisions for people that actually want to take up those extra sheets so the work hours for the nhs and the private hospital it's actually the, for the nhs is usually 37.5 hours why for the employers it's going to depend on the particular employer another one is that in the NHS as well, nurses will find ourselves most times if you don't finish on time, you find yourself doing extra hours. Like if you're supposed to finish by 8 p.m., you may find yourself finishing by 9 p.m. For, for so many new nurses, usually you see yourself working till 9 p.m. Or maybe if you had a, a very um, if you had a very very stressy shift, you may see yourself working overtime, and those overtime sometimes it is not recorded, so it's not part of your 12 hours. It is just you. You understand what I mean? But in private hospitals, I think there's a way that if you work extra hours because you want to put in more time and effort you are going to be recognized for any extra thing that you do in a private hospital because you are more seen what you do you are more seen and everything okay so i believe that in their their own extra hours and every other extra effort that they put in their hours will be more recognized in a private so the hospital. starting salary as well is better in the private hospital in the sense that as a as an nhs staff you are started as a band four that you work as an hca before you eventually get your nursing pin and become a band five nurse in the the private hospitals you also start before your pin you are also going to be started on a particular salary but that salary as well is much bigger than that of the um, the nurse in your 
in a in an NHS. How about the pension? Some people believe that maybe in the NHS you are you are going to have pension, but in the private you're not going to have pension. But the truth is that in the UK it is actually a kind of a law that if you're working you are entitled to pension scheme unless you don't want that pension. You have that option of opting out from any pension scheme. So whatever job you are you have, you are going to have that option of enrolling in their pension scheme. And usually you contribute five percent while your employer contributes three percent as the one I know for now. So these contributions are made towards your pension. So whenever you retire you have that access to your pension. Okay, so both the private hospitals and the NHS they both have that access to the pension and since you are any more in a private organization it's most likely as well that your pension is going to be much more bigger how about the maternity leave yes so maternity leave is also a law in the uk so you are entitled to maternity leave in both private hospitals and the nhs the only difference is that in nhs it might it might be a lot better because you are going to be receiving your full salary for some months and also half salary for some months and as well you are going to be receiving uh, going to be re um, receiving from the government as well at some point it's the same with the private organization you are going to receive your maternity pay full-time pay but it's going to be on a shorter term so what some people say is that since you have been receiving much more salary in the past you can still use whatever you have saved during your maternity leave so i i have stayed i have used the maternity leave in the uk and with nhs is actually very very generous because they pay you full time for a number of months and they have paid for a number of months so maternity wise i would say that it might be better in the nhs but you still have that your one year maternity leave in both the private sector and the nhs and again i've seen some articles saying that if you're working with nhs you also have that a better job security during your maternity leave than the private hospital but i believe this might depend because of the shortage of staff i believe that if you're working in a private hospital you will still have that job security because when you get back you will still have that job opening waiting for you the same in the nhs okay so but before you start rejoicing, oh, the private is better. There are so many things that are actually better in the NHS as well. The so, NHS, you are going to be paid if you are absent because of sickness and, and some um, family emergencies, carers leave. But these things are not available in the private organization. Many private organizations, I believe that some of them might introduce some of these things. But many private of, um, hospitals in the UK, you might not be paid if you are sick. You might not be paid if you take some other leave like carers leave and all this other emergency leave that if you're working in nhs you are going to get those leaves and you are going to get paid as well but in the private hospitals you're not going to get any pay for being sick okay so this is one thing about the private organization if you're sick or if you're absent from work for family reasons it's most likely that you're not going to get a pay that is where i'm going to give you a tip at the end of this video so continue to watch because there is still a way around it there are things that people also do to make sure that they are secured if they are working for private private organizations so make sure to stay to the end of this video because i'll be explaining all of these at the end okay. so how about the holiday so the holiday i believe is going to be the same with both the nhs and the private organizations but i believe the nhs will be a lot better because as you continue to stay in an NHS, your leave will continue to increase. Most times we have up to six, seven weeks of leave in the NHS, you understand? But in the private organization, you might not have up to that. Some of them offer 28 days annual leave, while in the NHS, as you continue to work, you will have more extra, you, you will have more leave in the sense that you can get up to six weeks, up to seven weeks in a calendar year. So you see in, in the NHS, you have more leave, more leave allowances and everything. So generally, the annual leave is more in the NHS than in the private organization. So most, most of the private organizations will offer like a fixed annual leave 
unlike the nhs that increases with time when you continue to stay with them so my thoughts on this okay so it depends actually on you where you want to work as an individual some people actually take pride that they are working for the government they are working for the nhs so many people were really excited during the pandemic that they were working with nhs they were happy i'm contributing because it is a free service in the uk so people that work in nhs they are actually proud that they work in any so it totally depends on you where you want to work as an individual and again about what i talked about um the sick pay that is not usually received in the care home some people go for an insurance like income protection insurance so there are so many insurance that you can avail yourself of so while you are in the uk so if you eventually choose the private organization ask questions and find out how they actually protect themselves, the kind of insurance and everything that you can use to protect yourself while you work in a private organization. So you don't lose your job unnecessarily, you don't use your income unnecessarily. Okay, so one thing I also want to say is that while it's so, just like I mentioned in that my last video about nursing home and hospital, you can actually combine all of this. I've met colleagues, people from Nigeria that are working in the UK, who are actually doing the same thing. They are working in a private organization and then they are working with agencies as well. So in their agencies, they pick their shifts in the NHS, in the NHS hospitals and some of those public hospitals. Some other people do the same thing. They are working in NHS and pick their shifts in private hospitals. So don't be so bottled up and so disturbed back home whether to choose the private hospital or to choose the NHS. Both of them are actually very good and you can fulfill your career goals while in the UK working in any of these organizations okay so choose private hospitals if you want to choose the NHS if you want to especially if any of these was come your way first so when you eventually get to the UK you can now make a better decision you will now assess the environment assess the culture assess everything and know whether it is fit for you do not be afraid to change if you are still a new nurse or you are almost there getting ready to get to the UK when you get to the UK and um, get your pin and everything if you don't feel safe in a particular work environment it is better to make the decision to move as quickly as possible than staying there until something goes wrong so even in nhs you can work in a particular world that will be very very hellish for you the same with private organization you can go there and it will be heaven or it can be hellish for you okay so you can decide to just move if you're not comfortable if you're working in nhs you can decide to move if you're not comfortable the body is going to force you to stay in the same place don't think that oh i don't have any option because they brought me here and everything i don't have that option okay you can actually change jobs and to just talk about briefly about that changing job some people think oh because i am owing or they helped me to come to the uk i am indebted to them i'm supposed to stay here some people that move to a hospital another hospital before they pay off all those things the new hospital usually volunteer to pay off those other things okay because they know about the cos they know about sponsoring oski and the rest of it so that your new hospital will just take up that burden of continuing to repay those things those uh, things that you're supposed to uh, pay them if you leave before three years okay so don't be afraid when you get to the uk if you're not comfortable you can move so don't be stuck on asking this person oh is the private better asking that person oh is nhs better and you end up not making those decisions so people that are working with nhs they are happy those that are working in the private hospitals they are happy sometimes people leave that private hospital with their big money to go for public the same with public some people leave nhs because of the, uh, the because of the pay as well and go to the private hospital Okay, so I hope this video was very helpful to you. And if it is, share with somebody that needs this information. And always come back for more. I love you and I wish you the very best. And I'll always see you in my next video. Bye.